Welcome back to our summer Bible study on the book of Psalms. So we're going to transition into Psalm 22. And Psalm 22 is a little bit heavier of a psalm. It is a, it's a psalm of lament. It is a psalm of being in that place of feeling distance from God and feeling separate and, and feeling in great trouble because of that. And this is a psalm that we read on uh, the end of Monday, Thursday, going into Good Friday. It's, um, you know, in both Mark and in Matthew, these are the first verse of Psalm 22 is words that we hear Jesus utter on the cross. And, and there's a lot of imagery throughout Psalm 22 that, that is reflective of the way in which we tell the story of Jesus. So you'll see that as we go through this. But let's begin. So Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. So I think somewhere when I was growing up, I internalized this message that when we talk to God, we're always supposed to be polite. And, you know, it was almost as if, you know, we need to tell God a, a sunshine-filled story every time we pray to God. And... The reality is that scripture is extremely far away from this. The, the scripture is very honest in these dialogues between the faithful people and God of the times when they feel like God is distant or when they talk about the brokenness in their lives or in the world. They, they come to God in, whether it's in song or in prayer, very honestly. And there are more psalms of lament than any other type throughout the book of Psalms. I mean, they, many of them are heartbreaking and their experiences of being heartbroken about their own state, the state of the world, their separation from God for various things. And, and again, Psalm 22 is one of the, one of the more powerful ones. It's one of the more direct ones. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to use it is because I do think many of us have felt that experience a feeling like God is distant, a feeling like we're alone, and and wondering, where, where are you, God, in the midst of this? Where are you, God, in the midst of this experience, in the midst of this, this crisis that I am going through? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I need you now. And I think we need to be able to be honest with that feeling. Now, God can take this. God will take this, you know, but I do think that there are also times where we feel like we're in a space where our prayers aren't being answered, where our cries aren't being heard, like we're, we're shouting into the abyss. And that's not a new feeling for people of faith. That's something that has been a reality throughout the life of the people of faith, whether it was Abraham or David or Moses or even Jesus on the cross saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, this is not the end of this, this prayer. It's going to, I really think, show us a little bit about the life of faith, the back and forth of the life of faith. That we need to be able, honest of where we start from, and we need to be able to be honest about the struggles that we go through. But then we allow space for God to hear and God to act. So we'll be back tomorrow continuing on with Psalm 22.